I'm Chris Meyer. Join me and the Legendary Customs team as we take ordinary rides and craft them into Legendary Customs. Hey everybody, Chris Meyer with Legendary Customs based out of La Crosse, Wisconsin. Thanks for joining us. We are gonna do our first Legendary Tool Review. What we have in front of us is the Miller Welder. It is MIG and TIG capable. We added this to the shop about six months ago. The reviews that I'm gonna do are after we've actually used the tools in the shop. So I can give you my honest opinion. We have six months under our belt or we'll have some time under our belt so I can tell you that out of the box, it's beautiful. Well, in this case, I can say out of the box, it was beautiful, but here's how it really works in real life. This welder is awesome. Just like all of them out there, it gives you a chart on here about using steel, your stainless steel. It is aluminum compatible with the wire as a MIG. It has a TIG welder. I didn't buy those options yet. I will, when I do buy them, I'll tell you what's going on with them. Stick welding, that comes with it, not optional. It actually comes with the kit that I purchased. Yeah, everything's right here, but guess what? You don't need it. Right over here, tells you everything that you need to do. I'm welding 16 gauge steel. It gives you the target parameters for what you're doing. I'm going to change my wire to 0.024, change it. We weld with 0.030, that's what we traditionally have been using, but I want to go up a little bit thicker, you just change it. it automatically does it. Now let's say you're working on 16 gauge steel, the targets are what it recommends, but you want it a little bit hotter. Guess what? Just turn it up a little bit hotter. No big deal. So you have a little bit of micromanagement going on there. Your feed is going a little bit too slow and you want to speed it up? Speed it up. That'll cool down the weld a little bit, making your wire feed a little faster. But you want it a little bit hotter, you can slow it down. That puddle will be there more, there'll be more arcing, so it'll heat it up a little bit. So there's all sorts of ways just to work with it. And it does it all for you. Now. I'm going to MIG with 75% argon, the other 25% CO2. There it is. Guess what? Shows you a picture of where your positive and your negatives go. There's no guessing. Now, right now, we're going with 100% CO2. Again, there it is. Put the setting on there. Guess what? There's a picture. Everything's done for you. Your positive and your negative is right where it's at. I'm going to MIG with aluminum using 100% argon. Put it on the setting. There's your picture, exactly where it goes. Change your gauges. Really, really versatile. Now you're working in the aluminum settings for where we're at. Now let's go back to steel, because that's what we're doing most of the time. And we like using the straight CO2. This machine is so versatile I can go all the way to 22 gauge and control it a little bit over here to make it cooler. All the way up to 3 8 all with the same machine and it's affordable. This machine did not set me back $3,000, $4,000, dollars like some of them. This machine was affordable for us. It was a great, it was probably the best addition to the shop when it comes to welders. I mean, when I first bought it, I'm like, that's some money. But now I wish I would have done it years ago. This is an awesome tool to have in the shop. Price point, most guys working in their garage at home, this will be a decent price point. And let's say it's a little bit out of your budget. You don't have to go with the 215. They have a 180, they have smaller machines that are less expensive. Let's say you don't need the TIG capabilities. Well, you can buy it without the TIG capabilities. 
The TIG add-on for this, I haven't bought it yet. That's something that I'm gonna get in the future. We just haven't went to that next step because this does weld really, really nice and really clean as a MIG. So the TIG, it's gonna be even cleaner. It's gonna be even more controllable. You have the foot pedal, everything goes with it. And it's, I think it's another 500 bucks. So it's really not that much when it's one machine. I'm not going out and buying a whole separate machine. So I guess for the Miller Multimatic 215, I would say it's a great tool worth investing in. We really enjoy it here at Legendary Customs. It's been in our in service for six months. One time in six months, which was yesterday, I welded past the capabilities of this machine. I was working on three eighths inch material and I had it as hot as it would go and I slowed down the wire feed as slow as I felt comfortable with to give really nice deep penetration. Very hot. The cycle time, that was the first time it ever kicked off. And right over here, it will say hold. Just slow down, let it cool off a little bit. In six months, one time. And we welded a lot through this thing in six months. So again, overall review, all the way around, it's a legendary machine. We enjoy it. I would do it again twice over. So, the Miller Multimatic 215, I would say it's a legendary tool that you should own. Thanks for joining us for our very first tool review. We'll have more to come with products that we actually have used and had time with and not fresh out of the box giving an opinion because everything brand new has great reviews. Appreciate you joining in. Chris with Legendary Customs, thanks for watching. Remember, like us on Facebook, join us on Instagram, and follow us on our YouTube channel. Appreciate it, we're out.